I am holding two of the best noise cancelling earbuds on the market, Apple's Earbuds Pro 2 and Bose's Quiet Comfort Earbuds 2. I am here in a very noisy London, putting these two through some real world tests. Okay, before we start, a little housekeeping. Both buds are gonna be on full noise cancelling to keep things a little straightforward. We'll also be using the same track for consistency and the volume will be around the 65% mark. If you wanna see more real world tests, make sure to subscribe. And if you wanna know more about these buds, head down to the link in the description for more information. Don't forget to leave a like while you're down there too. So the point of noise cancelling is to lower the background din of your environment. It's not really made to completely mask voices talking around you per se. Instead, it's a combination of the noise cancelling and your music that really cancels out the outside world. And with that, I'll be doing a little spoken word challenge. I'm going to be listening to some music while Drew over here stands behind me and says a phrase. He'll gradually get closer until I can hear what he's saying. The buds that get him the closest wins. I, I can't hear you. I can't. I, I, I literally, you were right here, and then I, I heard, but that was it. I heard nothing. That was amazing. <laughs> Impressive stuff. Now let's see how the AirPods do. The, the donkey flies by night? There you go. Wow. Okay. <laughs> you, like maybe a step further back, I heard a little zzz, zzz, and then when you got here, I just about heard it. Just about heard it. So I that think was that, definitely further away. Yeah, I think the bows win that one. Wow. Uh, I'd say a pretty good victory for the bows there. I was able to hear Drew's words just maybe a foot behind me on the AirPods. Bose have made real strides with adding frequencies, including that of human speech in their noise cancelling. So yeah, I have to say this is a resounding victory. Okay, maybe not resounding because it was maybe in uh, just a foot in it, but winner are the Bose. Next up, I'm gonna be putting these buds in various situations to see how they stack up against each other. First up, a park. So, we're here in Regent's Park, and as you can hear, there's a little bit going on. You can hear water running from fountains, some wildlife, distant traffic in the background. So we'll see exactly how much of that is drowned out by the buds. The AirPods easily eliminate the background noises from the park. I hear nothing of the crowd passing by me, whether it be their footsteps or what they're talking about. And the nearby water fountain is completely inaudible. The AirPods have handled this ably. The bows match the AirPods stride for stride. Nothing in the park gets through. Not the chirping of the birds, the rushing fountain, the lawnmower off in the distance. None of it. Really hard to pick these two buds apart. So that was relatively straightforward for the buds. They ably handled their environment with a plum, and I think we need to take it up a notch and take these buds to a busy London street. As you can hear, a lot more going on. You know, the hustle bustle, of the crowds, much louder background din, and of course, London traffic. Let's see how the two buds do here. Right off the bat, the bows do a really good job masking all the conversations around me. Cars driving by are all but silent, save for the highest pitched squeaks of rusty brakes. But overall, the bows do a near flawless job of silencing this busy London street. The AirPods again do a great job with the din of this busy street. People walking right by me, talking on their phones were completely inaudible. Again, only the faintest squeaks of brakes and idle bus engines leak through. Really hard to separate the two as they both perform admirably, but I think the bows edges this round handling the London streets marginally better than the airport, but it is close. 
Right, let's crank it up and pit these two buds against the underground. Once in full flow, you'd be hard pressed to hear anything on a tube. So let's put these buds together and see how much of the tube they can silence. Straight away, a lot of the wind noise is greatly reduced with the bows. The announcer's voice only peeks through in between lulls in the music. The harder clangs of metal on metal persist, but at a greatly reduced level. And the alerts for when the doors open and close are completely drowned out too. With the AirPods, it seems to do a slightly better job isolating the louder wind noises. Something about the music sounds cleaner and crisper, which aids in drowning out the turbulent tube environment. Between the two, I believe the AirPods take this round. Well, that was a really tough test for our buds, but overall they performed really well under tough conditions. After totting up the results, the overall winner were the Bose. They just did a much better job with urban environments and not to mention how they performed in the spoken word test. That's not to say the AirPods Pro 2 didn't perform well. They did great at the park and also were only narrowly defeated by the Bose in the spoken word test. So what do you think of our noise cancelling showdown? And what buds would you like to see next time? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and I'll catch you on the next one.